Hi, today we're going to be talking about aged care assessment. This will be an important one for some of you who have parents getting close to entering aged care for the first time. After June this year there's going to be some changes in terms of the way uh, an aged care recipient's income and assets are tested. Recipients to aged care are going to be able to pay their accommodation payment via either a lump sum or a periodic payment or even a combination of both if that suits. The retention amount from accommodation bonds is going to be removed which is fantastic. And there's no longer going to be a distinction between high and low care arrangements. There will still be a means tested fee but it will include the individual's assets and income. The assessment of an individual's rental income can also be different depending on what they do with their principal place of residence after they enter care. The assessment of that income also depends on whether the, the aged care recipient pays a lump sum to enter care or whether they pay in periodic payments. So if your parents are looking to move into an aged care facility in the future, it's vital that you seek advice in this regard because making one decision over another really can make a difference to the way that your parents are assessed. This is Tracy Ferguson, thanks for listening.